guys, this is our Winnebago Revit 44E, uh, how we call it at Roads Over Horizon Hapak. Let's come with me and I'm going to show you the inside. In the inside, you find your kitchen area here. In the back, you find your super comfortable bed. Here, you find the bathroom. And just next to it, you find your seating area. Where you can, of course, open the windows. You just go both to the side, open, and have a wonderful view. To close the window again, you just pull it back inside, close both levers on the left and on the right. And of course, you also have a fly net. You can just pull it down. And also, you're blinding for the nights. If you want to dine together, there's no problem. You can just swivel those seats around. And how that works, I'm going to show you right now. First of all, make sure your door is open, even if you try to swivel them from the inside. Next, just pull the seat a little bit in front. Make sure the backrest is set upright. And then you can pull the lever down here to swivel the seat. And once you swivel them around, you can sit in here with up to four persons. Storage compartments in this vehicle you can find above here, underneath the table, several small ones in the kitchen area, one here in the back, one above the kitchen area, and also you have some storage space in your bathroom. Also, once your bed is in the upper position, you'll find plenty of space underneath your bed. Now I'm going to explain you the functions of your kitchen area. If you want to use the water, the first thing you have to do is turn on the water pump. You just click on this little button, it will turn on, and then you're able to use your water. To drain the water, you just have to take this out. You have here a little button, you can push it, and then drain. Quite important is, after using the water, always turn off the water pump. You find your refrigerator down here, where you can store all your groceries, and you also find a freezer up here. Now, if you want to cook, first thing is you have to turn on the fan. You just click on on. It opens itself, and it's running now, or you just open the door or the window. To open the window, you open all three levers, and push it slightly, a little bit up. Then, next thing, you need your um, induction stove. You connect your power cable. And of course, if it's not turning on, make sure your inverter is turned on. Double check here if the green light is turned on. Now, to finally cook, you turn around the induction stove. You use the induction pots that Roadsofer provides you in the kitchen box. Put them on top. You turn the stove on, you click on this little symbol next to it, you can choose the temperature or choose a level and then wait till your water gets hot. To use the bed in your Horizon Hopper, you need this little silver key Roadsofer provides you. You put it in, twist it around and then you press this little button to bring the bed all the way down. Once your whole bed is downwards, you can get comfortable in here. You also have this little window in the back. You open it the same way you open all the other windows by just moving this lever, pressing it upwards. And to close it, you just pull it all the way back in, close the lever again, and that's it. You also have your little fly net and your blinding. Extra functions you find in your back part are these little lights. You just press them to turn them off or on again. You have light options over here. You have regular outlets and you also have USB outlets. To get cozy in the night, you can use your blindings in the back by unclipping them on both sides, pulling it down all the way and then closing it on both sides. You can always open this little back window because it has a fly net. You have an air condition in your vehicle. How you use it, you just open the vents, you turn it on, and then you can choose between the different settings from fan low to high, cool, low cool, auto, auto high, heat. Choose the temperature in your van, you use this little two knobs. And to turn it off, 
Just leave it on the off position and then it will turn off automatically. To use your bathroom, you have to open the door, twist the knob, open the door, turn on the light. And in the inside, you have those wooden plates you can take out if you don't want to use them as a storage. To take a shower, remember, first things first, turn on the water pump, it's on on. And if you want to use hot water, you just click on this little symbol up here, it turns red, and then actually you can choose the temperature. Then you have to wait probably about 20 minutes. You come back in here. For using the shower, if you're taller than I am, just take this piece out, open the window up here, turn on the fan, so you have some fresh air taking a shower. Get out your shower curtain. Put the curtain on here. And now I'm ready to take a shower. After taking your shower, make sure it dries correctly before storing it back into its place. Down here you have your toilet. You open the lid. You also open this gray lever. So now everything that falls into the toilet cassette can just fall down. Before you use the toilet for the very first time, you have your solvio liquid in here. Just put a very, very little of it into it. Flush twice or three times, probably a little bit water on top. So there is a base of water and this liquid in your toilet. So everything that falls into the toilet uh, falls into the liquid. Close the lid again and make sure before you go on driving, you close this lever again. In the back here, you have your toilet flush and behind the toilet, you find this green uh, little window that tells you if your toilet cassette is full or not. How to empty your black water toilet cassette, I'm going to show you in another chapter. But please remember, after taking a shower, turning off the hot water again by clicking on this little symbol. Now we're going to check out all the functions you have um, and all the little panels we can use. Um, we start with the light options you have. All of these three just turn off and turn on the lights. Um, you have your water pump panel. So to turn it on, you just click on it. Then it will immediately turn on. So now you can use the water. Um, you turn it off again by clicking uh, the button again. You can check out your tank levels. So you see the fresh water tank level and the gray water tank level. Uh, the gray water level right now is empty. This is why you can see the E. And the fresh water tank is two thirds full. You have the battery level. You can check um, both battery levels. So the house battery level and the chassis battery level. They're both very good right now. Next to it, you find the inverter panel. Make sure it's always on, so the green light is turned on. If not, you won't be able to use the outlets in the van. Um, this is your solar panel. Uh, you can just control um, how much battery you have right now. And this is the main switch for the solar panel. Please just always leave it on on. This little panel, you use it for heating up um, or the water or the heater in your van. For heating up the water, you just click on the symbol on top on the left and then you can choose the actual temperature you want to have for the water and then you have to wait a little bit, about 20 minutes, so it gets hot. To turn it off again, you click on it again and then it turns white again. To use the heater in your camper, you just click on the little symbol in the corner down here. Now it turns red, that means it's on. And then you can also choose here um, the temperature you want to have. To turn it off, you just click on it again and it will immediately turn off. As your heating system works through the diesel fuel tank, uh, please always make sure before the night that your fuel tank is filled up enough because it would automatically turn off if there's just only a quarter of tank left. Just in case your inverter wouldn't work for any reason, please double check and open this door. Here you find the inverter itself, which should be turned off if it's not working. And then you have the main battery of the van, which has a blue knob in its back. Please turn this one off by pressing it for some three seconds. It should turn off. And then turn it back on by pressing the same button for another three seconds. So it would turn on immediately again. And then you should be able to see the green light back on 
That means that the inverter would work again. You also have some functions in your trunk, as for example, the main switch for the inverter. Usually it's just the best thing to leave it on all the time. You will need it. Also, you have a little light option for the trunk and you also have USB plug-ins. On the other side, you will find your outdoor shower. You can just attach it, click it in, and then turn on the water pump. You have another switch here. Remember, you have also another one in the front. Whoops! This can happen if you have this little clip plugged in. Also, to disconnect your outdoor shower, make sure you turn off the water pump again, and then push the ring backwards so you can take it off. Also in your trunk, you can find a little water canister in case you need it. You have a water hose to fill up your fresh water tank. You can find your kitchen box that provides you everything you need to cook. You have an outdoor table, you have two outdoor chairs, you have your blindings, and you also have the cable for you to plug into the short power on the campground, for example. To fill up your fresh water, you can do it here. You have this water hose. You just connect your water hose to the system until it's plugged in completely. Now to fill up your fresh water tank, just connect to any fresh water station and then uh, switch the levers to the power fill tank position. So just switch them as you can see them in the picture. Now turn on the water, fill up the water tank. And once the water tank is filled up, turn off the water again switch the levers again to the dry camping position as you can see them in the picture up here and then you can disconnect the water hose. How you see that your water tank is full you can see it or in the panel in front of the van or also if the tank is really full the water would just drain out underneath the van. To disconnect the water hose you just turn it, disconnect it and close it again. So here on the outside of your van, you find the outlet to the short power on the campground, for example. You find your toilet cassette. To empty your black water, you have to take out your toilet cassette by pushing the blue lever. Pull it out. Swivel this part. Open the blue lid. And pushing the blue button up here to get out all liquids you have in there. Afterwards, please open the gray lid, open the other blue knob, put in some fresh water to flush the whole thing, close it again, close the gray lid again, and then get the water out. Put the lid back on, twist, and put it back in. Push it all the way back, close the door, and you're done. You also find your fuel tank here. Please always remember to not use a biodiesel um, and always just put diesel in it. You also find your gray water tank down here. To drain the grain water, you would need a sewer hose. You find it in the back of the van. Underneath the trunk, you just open the lid, you take out the whole sewer hose, you take it with you, you open the lid from the grey water tank, you connect the sewer hose to it, and then you pull the lever out so the whole tank can empty itself into the dumping station. To disconnect the sewer hose, just disconnect it that way, close the lid again and then afterwards please just flush the sewer hose with fresh water and then bring it back to its position to the trunk put it all the way back in close the lid and you're all set where to find dumping stations or at campgrounds or also just google them as all the water tanks should be empty when returning the van to our stations please make sure that you also empty the fresh water tank by turning this silver knob in the middle and you'll see immediately the fresh water comes out underneath the van. 
Also make sure to close it again before filling up the fresh water tank so the fresh water just stays in the fresh water tank. And also before you return the vehicle and in case it's empty, you have to refill the DAF fluid. How you can do that? First, you open the hood down here. Then you go in front. To open the hood, you just use this lever down here, push it upwards, and then in here you can fill in the DAF fluid. Important for you to know is where you can get this or in hardware stores or also at some gas stations. The blindings for the Horizon Hopper, you find them in this little black bag. You open it, take them out. Make sure you have the brighter side in the inside of the van. And then with magnets in the blinding itself, you just put it on the windows frame and then you do the other side as well. There's one double part, which you use for the front windshield. Push it all the way to the front, open the Velcro part, put it back together, press it to the top and use the blindings to secure. And now that's the perfect setting for your cozy nighttime. You also have an awning in your van you can use whenever you want. First thing is you have to turn it on and then you can just click extend and it will come out. So once this is done, you could just use your outdoor table by unclipping them, folding it down and sitting here. Or also Roadsuffer provides you another outdoor table and two outdoor chairs, they're stored in the trunk. And now it's time to enjoy the beautiful weather, the beach, the sun, and the horizon hopper.